Minecraft 1.19 Snapshot 22 W45A just updated the Vex huge time and oh man I mean you got to check these things out they're amazing a Any second now the brand new Vex model has basically been simplified the eyebrows are bigger than ever the eyes are shrunk down the model looks a little bit more modern the new Vex is a little bit smaller but don't worry the bounding box has not changed at all also this new model looks a whole lot more like the LA are the pillagers maybe doing something to LA's, turning them into Vexes? Snapshot video out right now on the main channel, talking about this and even more. Did you know that the bundle was first added to Minecraft on this date, two years ago? The date, November 4th, 2020, Snapshot 20, W45A. When the bundle was first added, it looked something like this right here. <laughs> Absolutely insane if you ask me. This was the first Caves and Cliffs Snapshot. There are some minor differences, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same. Kind of crazy. Makes you think. It's Friday, baby, which means it's time for a fact. Today, let's take a closer look at the brand new amazing Minecraft camel. You definitely heard about him by now, but the camel, oh, it's so beautiful, it's great, and it has this really cool leap effect. If you line everything up and do it just right, this leap can span 12 blocks. That's pretty insane. But did you know there's more? The camel actually is hiding a big secret. Options, accessibility, subtitles, turn them on. Now we go back over to our camel friend, which just needed, needed to, to sit, sit down. down. Like, c c come on, guy. You can't sit for five seconds. seconds. Check this out. Let's go ahead and leap. And <laughs> that's not a leap. No, 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 no. That's actually something very, very different. This isn't even the camel's only secret, though. Double tap and subscribe for more. Oh, yeah. This fun fact Friday. Let's talk about the cobweb. Cobwebs are a relatively rare item in Minecraft, having no crafting recipe at all. If you're going for some kind of creepy abandoned build, or just really anything worn down in general, cobwebs are great, but they also have a secret superpower. Check this out right here, the cobweb. As you can see, it's like, uh, kind of like see-through, and in fact, you can literally move right through the cobweb if you fall on top of it. In the eyes of hostile mobs, it's a fully solid block, because mobs will not burn underneath Hey, hey, hey where, where are you going? Yes, ah. Let's uh, try that again. Uh, here we go. The mob underneath the cobweb, and if you watch this thing, it will never burn. Even though the cobweb definitely lets light through, it doesn't let the fire. How does that even work? The newest Minecraft snapshot, or pre-release, is actually amazing. Check this out. And over here inside of the Create a New World screen, data packs. Then this little thing right here. With the help of a data pack, we can now finally do it. So over in our survival world to check this out. We get a note block and a player head in survival somehow, and then... <laughs> <laughs> this can be done with data packs. It's so great. This has pretty big implications. I mean, think about it. All of those mob head packs, maybe they now actually make the sounds that those mobs make. Double tap and follow for more. Next time you're at the ocean in your Minecraft world, don't ignore the dolphins. They're pretty useful. Did you know if you feed a dolphin raw cod or raw salmon, they'll actually lead you to the nearest shipwreck, buried treasure, or ocean ruin. All you have to do is try and keep up and not drown. I mean, check this out. Look what this guy found. Maybe in the future, this will be a great way to find sniffer eggs. Yeah. A Minecraft mud fact for you. Just like Soul Sand, did you know that mud is actually a little bit less than a block? Like, check this out. If you, if you look close, you can see that I sink down here. This has big functionality. With the help of a chest, a hopper, and a block of mud, we can check this out. With a hopper placed directly below the mud block, let's say this bamboo fell on the ground instead of my, like, bamboo farm or something. You notice anything? Or maybe didn't notice anything up there. Yeah, that's right. Hoppers are going to be able to pick up anything straight through the mud block. 
Double tap and follow for even more facts and hacks. The newest Minecraft snapshot just added a brand new super rare item, and it's so worth it. To get this thing, first things first, we're gonna wanna get a trident and channel it. Then inside of an anvil, we're gonna wanna combine those things together. Maybe give it a beautiful name too. Now we're gonna need to turn this creeper into a charge creeper. Hey, whoa, 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 buddy, buddy, back up. Time to speed build a nether portal really, really quick here. Light the portal and go inside. Once we're inside of the nether, we're gonna need to slowly and carefully lure this charge creeper over to a piglin. All right, slowly, slowly, uh, go ahead and do that and <laughs> look at this thing. The piglin head is easily the hardest mob head to get in the entire game. And it's got even more cool mechanics too. For more on the piglin head and even more, check out the snapshot video on my other channel right now. So I've got really bad news for the rabbit. As I'm sure you know, Minecraft rabbits are absolutely adorable and completely innocent too. I mean, like, they didn't do anything wrong. However, in just under a week, a huge buff is coming to these poor creatures. Next week, once 1.90.3 releases, every time you take out a rabbit, you're gonna get raw rabbit. Not to be that guy, but look, this change is intriguing, to say the least, and I can't help but think about the bundle. Could this small rabbit update be a subtle hint at the bundle coming soon, or, or am I just a conspiracy theorist? Here's a quick turtle life hack for you. To pull this one off, you're gonna need to be in Minecraft Java 1.19.2. Take advantage of this bug right now because it's going away soon. Find two turtles, give both turtles seagrass, and go ahead and let them look at each other romantically. Give it a minute and one of the turtles will lay eggs. Then give more seagrass to the other turtle, the one that didn't lay an egg. After you do that, the turtles will actually breed again, right away. And that turtle that's laying the eggs, it'll keep doing them. Check that out. We'll talk a little bit more about it in a video on my other channel tomorrow. Minecraft currently has this insane way to actually duplicate any enchantment in the game, and it's really easy too. Check this out. Right here I've got one Feather Falling 4 book, one Mending book, and one Sharpness 5 book, but this will work with any enchanted book in the game, and technically any book too. Here's my chisel book show. This thing is going to be the ticket to this dupe. And first things first, fill this up all the way with something. Doesn't matter what it is, but just fill it up. Then, after that, go ahead and grab one of your enchanted books and use it on the bookshelf and... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. The book is literally just duplicating. 100% survival and like insanely easy to do too. We'll talk a little bit more about this and what it could mean in a video coming out in a couple days. On Java, development of the 1.20 update is going great. There's tons of new cool things. What about Bedrock? Well, over on Bedrock, things are going good. Like, there's a lot of cool new features, but there are also a lot of missing things. For starters, that really cool new mob head functionality, it's completely missing doesn't exist. Minecraft 1.20 is also coming with two brand new types of a, I, I guess you would call them logs, these bamboo blocks right here, but <laughs> not on bedrock. And newest and uh, maybe favorite of all, this beauty right here looks so good. But don't worry bedrock gang, these things will get there eventually, right? Today I've got one of the most devious pranks of all time for you, let's check it out. So here's how it works. Over at your friend's base, you hook this all up to some kind of pressure blade on the floor. Your friend walks into their base and... <laughs> oh, that's evil. To build our little goof here is really not much at all. It's so cheap. Taking a look at the materials that you're going to need to have on hand if you want to build this beauty and not exact amounts, this is it. You're going to want to hook this system up to an inconspicuous pressure plate located somewhere inside of your friend's base. Down below that pressure plate, hook a couple redstone repeaters running in a circuit up to each other. Add some delay to the repeaters to make sure the sound doesn't happen too soon. And finally, to put icing on a cake here, place a note block in the ground with the creeper head on top of it, next to one of the redstone dusts in the corners of your circuit. With this short delay, this is going to make your friend think one of these green guys follow them in. So Mojang just announced the next 1.20 feature, and it's amazing. About an hour ago now, over on the official Minecraft website, a blog post was posted about playable mob sounds coming to Minecraft in 1.20 including the brand new piglin head. First off, I love this. This is such a cool way to announce an upcoming feature. Now, uh, second off, mechanically, it's not too clear how this is exactly going to work quite yet, but if I had to take a guess, it's something like this. Place a mob head on a jukebox, maybe power that jukebox, and then all of a sudden, the noise comes out of the head. Oh, that's gonna be great for like themed builds. Double tap and subscribe because you already know when this update drops on Wednesday, I'll be the first one with that snapshot video up for you. 
Is there a fastest block to grow sugarcane on in Minecraft? I feel like there was this idea for the longest time that sand was more efficient to grow sugarcane on than all of the other blocks. So let's run a quick test. In this test, we'll put sand, a coarse dirt, pod zone, then normal dirt to the test, but normal dirt's probably just gonna go away anyways, so we'll focus on those three. Plant the sugarcane on all of these blocks and then we wait. All right, we could definitely speed this up by increasing the random tick speed to say, eh, 3,000. Nope, looks about the same. Leave a myth down in the comments and we'll put it to the test.